Hey guys, for this video, we're going to take a look at this Avantry Opera wireless TV headphone set. They were nice enough to send me these for free so I can make a video showing them to you. Comes with both the transmitter and the headphones. It is wireless, uses Bluetooth 5.0. You can see some of the features here. It says high clarity, premium auto. You have three presets for the equalizer depending on what you're listening to. It says very comfortable protein leather ear pads and extra roomy ear cup. Ideal for watching TVs and movies, no audio lag. Up to 35 hours of use. Also, it doesn't say on the back panel, but it said up to 160 feet range. So that's that's crazy long range. Support simultaneously streaming audio from wireless headphones and external wired soundbar. That is absolutely perfect. For if you ever been in a room with somebody who maybe doesn't have the best hearing in the world and they want the TV on full blast where it feels like it's just going to break your eardrums, well, they can listen on the headphones as loud as they want and you can be at a more reasonable level with the actual TV. And then mute adverts function. Simple switch to temporarily mute the audio during ads or for people who like to talk over the movie. Also, this would be great for anyone with kids who's playing video games. If you don't want to hear, tight fitting box, if you don't want to hear their game, set them up with one of these. So we do have the optical cable here. Looks like we have some instructions, some more paperwork. Let's look at the base first. Pretty cool, simple design. See, it charges by just hanging the headphones right on the top there. Works as a holder also. We have on, off, and pair selections with that front switch. Gives you a couple of indications of what different lights are going to mean. We have the DC in for the power. We have an auxiliary, the optical. We have a mic, another auxiliary, and then a switch setting between those three settings and a lock button here at the top. Now looking at the headphones themselves, you can see the earpieces swivel and pivot. Of course they extend like any earphones you've ever had. You can see that connection there for the charging. We have some buttons directly on the ear pads. Looks like we have a jack there, off and on to mute the speaker, the equalizer button with those three presets we talked about, looks like music is default, we have dialogue and extra bass, and then we also have a phone and microphone button. On the other side, a little bit different here, looks like it might be upside down, I'll go the other way, I'll figure it out. So here we have a forward, uh, looks like up and down, and we have play pause. So it must be adjust volume up and down, play pause, and off, on, and pair on that selector, and a USB C connection there. Also in the box, we have uh, another set of cables here. Looks like we have an AV cable set. Audio cable set. We have a microphone, so that's what our jack is for there. A little peel and stick 3M tape. Another audio cable. And the power cable for the USB to USB C connection. So that is what's in the box. First off, probably most important to get this thing all charged. Let's work on that for our DC in that plugged in there that's kind of cool on the inside of the ear pieces you can easily see left and right can't tell you how many times I try and see the small print on the normal headphones I've used to try and see which way they go and then we just hang them right here there we go and the light came on here which I'm going to assume means charging while it's charging up this little troubleshooting card did come with it, it says that they're factory pre-paired so you don't have to pair them also i saw that you can have two sets of headphones connected 
Did I mention it's Bluetooth 5.0? It's really good. If no sound, try the following. Both should be solid blue lights when they are connected. It says that your TV must be set to PCM or stereo if there's Dolby to switch it off. And whatever you're connected to has to say audio out. Audio in is not going to help you. It looks like our light turned green, so we're all charged up. Now we've got the switch on front that we can turn it on. And we have the switch on the headphones. You have on right there. Welcome to Connected. It's as easy as that. We're ready to go. So let's get this hooked up to the TV. I'm going to use them for a week or two, and I'll give you guys an update. Got it all set up. See, I use the auxiliary jack there and have it in the auxiliary position on the switch up top. The solid white means that it's connected with the signal. And blue means that we are connected to the headset, so you can kind of get an indication of what's going on. You can probably hear the commercial that's playing right now. The mute switch works really well. Here's the switch. Also, you have the audio buttons on the side. We turn it all the way up, it'll beep. One thing I'm going to do when using them is turn the TV up louder and then turn these down some so that I still have more control. So we'll follow it up in a little bit and let you know what I think. So after testing them out, here's a couple of thoughts that I have. First off, I didn't use the microphone at all. I wish the microphone would have been just built into the headset because I don't know where I'm going to stick this thing and it just didn't seem like much purpose to me. So I didn't use the microphone at all. The... Um, Headphones themselves, they worked really well. It was really clear audio. It was good. You have the three equalizer settings. And one, you can definitely tell there's more bass than the other two. But it's still not like, it's not a thumper, you know. But you could definitely tell there was more in one setting, which I preferred just using that setting. When you have it on, it's a little confusing at first to know what button is what. But, you know, you're probably not playing with the equalizer a lot. You get to a setting you want. It, it, most of the time it's going to be at the same thing. Uh, I didn't use it for the phone call portion. Like I said, I didn't use the microphone, so I would never hit that button. So on your left side, you have just the mute on-off switch. And then on the other side, your only three-button switch is for the volume there. And uh, the pairing thing, you never have to touch either. So once you get used to it and kind of know what buttons you're hitting, that's not too bad. But it did take a second to get used to that. Also, my TV is an LG TV, but it's about 10 or 11 years old. When I have this plugged in, nothing comes out of the built-in TV speakers. Now, that may be different if you have a different model TV, if you have a newer TV, if you are using a sound bar. It sounds like, from what I can gather, how that works is largely dependent on your specific setup, so it may be something worth looking into. Also, I saw... A few people mentioned they had problems with pairing the device or having to pair it every time they turned it on. I haven't had to do it a single time. So they worked really well for me. Once I got in the habit of keeping the TV volume up and then adjusting from the headphones, it was perfectly fine. At first I thought they weren't getting loud enough because I had these turned all the way up, but my TV was like a fifth of the way turned up. And when I kind of swapped that around, turned the TV way up and then turned these down, I felt like I had more control over the audio and they got plenty loud for anything on your head. <laughs> plenty loud for headphones. So there it is. Thanks for watching. As a quick side note, as I was wrapping things up for this video, I thought I'd give it a shot and see if I could just connect to my computer via the Bluetooth. And you got the pairing switch here and you just hold it down to the pairing side. It starts blinking blue and red, says pairing. Anyway, my computer discovered them right away. Audio started working. And in that case, you could just use the transmitter as a charger for the headphones and use this with any Bluetooth-capable device. So, kind of a cool additional way to use them.